Early memories of paradise, first times at Sturge Park, athletic championship rival chants, bomb blasts across the stadium, vendors' queues boil up like geysers, the fresh vehicles slide to the rhythms and sounds of the Labour Day madness. St Patrick's, its fertile land blossoms milk and honey, its waterfalls and hot springs nestled under Chance's Peak's mouth. July 18th, 1995, first encounters of uh, seismic apocalyptic hammers, dust masks and torches instead of break time cricket bat and ball, tree climbs and foraging for evacuation drills, first day grade one, Kinsale School, easy tropical breeze. Second week, grade two, pressured girls. Bells weren't wasted, teachers swung them. Third month, grade three, chaos. July 25th, 1997. Chances peak spit leaked, the mountains drooled. Bait brimstones eject scud missiles. Ash cloud umbrellas didn't shelter from the hell. Earlier, 12.30 p.m. Salem school. My Reebok high top screeched to the Scotty Pippin type grooves. Show and prove, afternoon basketball. Balling out of bounds, bouncing to my pulse. As evacuation alarms chimes, deafened by the grim judgment of God's fury. The behemoth has risen. Chance's peak has awoken. The drumming, the wailing. His crimson etched arms crushed Spanish point. His fist swept the south when the news broke. Radios our ears, our mouths muted. 5 p.m. On a grey and winding road Between yesterday and somewhere else Our kinsmen claimed by the sofa Our Plymouth in ruins Our lives transformed Our displacement An eternal echo 